This is Tim from wherever I am. Welcome you all to Monday Morning Meditation. I'm joined today by Reverend Donna Little, Minister Emeritus, as well as Sandra Blanchard, the head of our prayer chaplain group. Yay! And, Yay. <laughs> and we're entering into the season of World Day of Prayer. It's coming up on September 11th. No, oh. no, 13th and 14th this time. And that is perfect timing for me because it's pretty much a month away. I start getting into that prayer consciousness even more so as World Day of Prayer begins. And Sandra, yesterday you started out with using that guiding prayer from World Day of Prayer that you did so excellently. You put in a lot of emotion with it. I really appreciated that. You're welcome. So ladies and gentlemen, Sandra Blanchard, there introduce yourself. There was a lot yourself. of good energy going around that day. Uh, yes. Hi, I'm Sandra from Unity and Olympics, Living and Swim. <laughs> oh yes, okay. <laughs> well, introduce your little friend. Okay, this is Sophie and she wants her two cents worth in too. <laughs> she's keeping an eye on things for us yeah yeah she just doesn't want me wiggling she wants me to be still <laughs> good luck and that. we're also joined by reverend donna little today and reverend donna was my first unity minister and she's the one that got me into this prayer consciousness you know hooking me up with world day of prayer and hooking me up with prayer chaplain training and and helping me experience the right and proper practice and tool to center me into the truth of my being. Reverend Donna Little, why don't you introduce yourself? I am retired. <laughs> <laughs> so you say. So I say. And uh, I am now living in Issaquah, Washington, over near my son and his family in Seattle. And uh, adjusting and learning, learning how to be retired. It's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Retire means putting on a new layer or yeah, taking retire. another taking another real relation through life. Yeah. And I love today's daily word because I had to call Reverend Donna earlier just to get my smile back. Lots <laughs> of challenges going on. And what makes me smile more than anything, which today's daily word is smile, is connecting to that heart space was something I love. And of course, you know, I love both of you, but Reverend Donna brings me into this place of centeredness. She, I don't wanna say helps me think things through, but helps me center in the truth. When I go through experiences that are, I wanna say unusually different. I don't know how to classify them other than Challenging, that. Challenging perhaps. Challenging would be the right word, but challenges, you know, are made for you to grow and stretch through. And, and are you not doing that? <laughs> well, I'm, I, I am practicing that. Yeah. yeah. I am practicing that. That's what we have so, to do. So I so, captured my smile back and now I'm ready to, I want to say, engage in my day. So Sandra, would you yeah. take it away and lead us through today's daily work? Okay, Monday, August the 14th, already. Smile. My smile is God's love expressing through me. A smile communicates in ways that words cannot. Long before they begin to speak, babies respond to smiles. People from all cultures recognize the meaning of a smile. When language differences make communication between two strangers challenging, a smile can put both at ease. My smile may be my spontaneous response to a humorous situation or a happy surprise, or it may tell everyone who sees it that all is well with me. My smile may be my heart's response to someone who needs encouragement when there are no words to express what I am feeling. Although each smile is as unique as the person who offers it, its message is universal 
even if we speak different languages or come from different cultures, we are on in God. Number 625, the verse, the Lord made his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. So my smile is God's loving expression through me. We each can say that again. My, my smile, smile is God's God love expressing, expressing through me. Through me. Ah, okay. Ah. Everybody's smiling now. Thank, thank you, <laughs> Sophia. Thank you for joining us. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at there. There's Olivia. There we go. Well, I love the way you read it right off the email that had a typo in it. And sometimes grammar check doesn't. There is. I missed it. What is it? Well, <laughs> it is true. We are on in God because we are yep. definitely lighted up as the inspiration. Oh, what? But it actually, God, one in God, one in God because we are all one in God. Well, <laughs> I didn't. One. We are I, one. I didn't see that until I read the third communication piece and went back to the daily word in, in print. Sometimes that will make you smile because it gives you new insight that we are on in God because yeah. we, it's God is where we move, live, and have our being. I thought, well, it, we're going into a slang word language here. <laughs> <laughs> well, words have power. Hopefully, it does do that, and we we're on. We are on in God. Okay, we are on, <laughs> but we are also one. One. Because there is only one power and one presence in the universe, of course, God the good. So, yes. Reverend Donna, you agreed to lead us into a meditation. Yes, I did. And, and I, I still am, do. <laughs> and I and I'm ready to sit here with my eyes closed and my smile on. All right. All right. And that's what I encourage us to do is to take a deep breath <sighs> and just release any tension, any concerns any stress, any worry, any of those things that we are carrying with us that pull the corners of our mouth down into a frown. Just let them go. Let them go and let the corners of your mouth perk up, turn up, and begin to smile. Smiles are very, very powerful. Many, many years ago, I decided that when I walked into a store, particularly grocery stores, because they have a good mix of people, people of all ages, people of all circumstance, everybody has to go to the grocery store. And sometimes I would meet children, you know, either in the basket or not, and they were a little shy about meeting strangers. But I often found that if I smiled at them, that they would, you know, they would consider that for a few minutes and then eventually, hey, they would smile back. We, we've had a lot of excitement in our neighborhood this morning because our neighbor across the street had a visitor who had a, a black lab puppy, two years old, and that caused a lot of uh, barking. So we're not, we're not quite done with all of that. So we just send smiles to the little doggies. Send smiles to the little doggies and let them relax and join us in this time of concentration on the goodness. I've had Maui on my mind a lot this week um, with the fires and the damage and the loss of life, loss of property that's going on in there because of um, the storm and the fire and the wind. It's been quite, um, quite a, a, a big mess and a, a very frightening time for the people who live there. And I have family there. And so it's... Uh, it's been of concern to me. So as I've gone through the week, I've worked very diligently to release all of those feelings of concern, fear, 
why is this happening to my daughter? Um, are they going to be okay? All of those worries, just releasing them to create a, a, not a vacant, but a clearer space in my heart. And I would invite you to join me in creating a clear space in your heart. And then we're going to fill it up with good stuff. So just release, just focus on releasing, untying little knots, letting go of twisted wires or twisted thoughts that hold you in place, hold you down, hold your thinking in a place of anticipating a bad response or a painful response. Just let all of those things go and create a clear space in your heart. Clear, perfectly clear. Nothing in there, no thing, no, no thought at this moment, but a, a clear board that we can write on or dry on, draw on or use our creative powers to change and bring in goodness. So do you have that place defined in your heart? Do you have that welcoming, clear space in your heart? In the Bible, we talk about, give me a clean heart, O oh God. This is the heart that is clean that has no angst, no worry, no pain, just free and clear. Happy heart. Be in that heart for just a moment. Feel, feel the opportunity that is before you. Feel the goodness of the clear space and know that all is well and all is continuing to be well. What a beautiful space. What a beautiful feeling. Clarity. Clearness. And now let's begin to put in to this clear space good things, good thoughts, good feelings, things that we want to share with others so that we can build a package to send to the people of Maui, the lands of Maui. We can send it to all people everywhere. The Parliament of World Religions that are beginning their meetings in Chicago. Everywhere. What do we want to send out into the world to ease the pain? I invite you to speak those feelings, those thoughts aloud so that we can all share in this process of creating the goodness of the empty space, the clear space, the clear space. So I would start with a smile. A smile is non-intrusive and it allows us to 
send the thought to someone else, I like you. I, what I see, I like, and I am glad to be <clears throat> with you and have met you on this journey. Thank you for being here. Smile. Any ha anyone else have something that they would like to put into this clear space? Sandra, you're muted. I just, again, want to just reiterate the just sending as much love and healing energy that we can to all the families and friends and even people who came to visit and experience what happened in Maui, just, just surround them as much as we can with that energy of light and love, support. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and gratitude for all those that jump in and lend a helping hand. Yes. Yes. And those that listen, listen to what the needs are so that new things can develop out of the experience. I would put in blessings for the leaders. Yes. The leaders at Maui. Yeah, I, uh, I've seen the governor speak several times and about what they're doing and how they're hoping to overcome for the U.S. government for uh, creating a, an opportunity to support these people with money. Um, people that live there on the island that are reaching out to their friends. I love the video of the guy on the docks when the, the fire was coming down to Front Street and he ran out on the docks yelling at people, if you're in your boat, yes. get, get, get away, get away. The fire is here. You need to get away. And you know, putting himself in whatever danger might have been, but to let people know that it's time. It's time to leave. Yeah. I saw yesterday um, an interview with a woman in Lahaina who uh, is a minister of a, you know, some sort of an independent church. And uh, she was talking about how when she got the word that you know, they were evacuating and, and told to you know, make the church ready, they they went in and they created space for people to come and sleep. They created, um, you know, a kitchen outside so that they could cook. And they've been cooking three meals a day, feeding people that were there. So um, supporting life to go on. There's all of the people that have brought their cadaver dogs and their, their search and rescue skills, looking for bodies. And yet so many are not being able to be identified because of their wounds. We just hold all of these people in wrapped up in an energy of white, light, cottony, soft clouds, knowing with them that they have the stamina and the determination to do this work, to support these people, to support life continuing and going on on Maui, on the planet, on the planet.
And let's see the people that remain reaching out and accepting this good energy that is coming from us and coming from all people on the planet, other people in Maui. The good energy, the good love, the good support, maybe a meal, it may be a bed to sleep in, but supporting life and its continuation, bringing back the joy of life, bringing back the smile, little smiles here and there that show us the way to change our thinking, to trust again, to know in that place of knowing within our being that all is truly well. I am so grateful for this opportunity to create that space within myself and feel it, really feel it. And to send that energy to my family, to my friends, both here in the on the continent and in Hawaii, sending them support, sending them love. The, all that they need, all that they desire, and all will be fine. All will be well. Health will return. Recovery will be coming momentarily. People will support one another and love one another and bring about great changes in Maui to prepare it to enter the new world after the storm. All is well. Let it be. Let it be well. Keep the worry at bay. Allow the good thoughts, the love, the support, the trust to come through. All is well. All is well. And so it is. And we bless this time. We bless Maui. We bless this planet with peace, love, and joy. A whole. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. I see the smiles returning across all these smiles and the end of all the burning and, and just as that smog filled the air, I see the good vibration making it all clear. Yes. Blowing the smoke away. Blowing the smoke away. All right, this is Tim for wherever I am, Warrington, Missouri today, and Reverend Donna Little from Issaquah, and Reverend Sand, well, not Reverend Sandra Blanchard, oh, Prairie Chaplain. Well <laughs> yeah, we all we all have taken a couple of revelations somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> revelations, <laughs> Yeah. 
saying bye from now. We love you. Thanks yes, for joining us today. Love you too.